Hi everyone, this is Matt Jackson, Design Director on Death Garden. In this video, we'll go over runner tips and tricks. If you're new to Death Garden, we recommend that you check out our basic tutorial. As a runner, your agility, being able to rapidly scale walls, evade and outmaneuver the hunter, and the third person perspective are your basic survivability tools. Keep your eyes on the hunter and be aware of your surroundings and potential escape routes at all times. When moving around the garden, stay as low as possible. In the air, you're easier to spot. If the hunter spots you and starts to chase, the game's music intensifies. During a chase, don't run in a straight line. Try to outmaneuver the hunter using walls, cliffs, and the evade ability. Evading is a great way to create distance between you and the hunter. Just make sure that you keep an eye on your stamina gauge. You have a limited amount of evades before running out of stamina. Remember, the hunter plays in first person. Use this to your advantage. Once you've lost your opponent, hide in tall grass or use buildings for cover. It can be very hard for the hunter to spot you when crouched in the tall grass. Don't rush to the next objective or crate. Patience is key. Take the time to assess the hunter's behavior and try to predict their next move. It's much safer to move around when you know where the hunter is. Remember that you can fire regular bolts to ping the hunter. This rewards you with a small amount of NPI and lets your team know where the hunter is. There are three runner classes to choose from. Each class has three upgradable powered bolts and their corresponding caltrops, both which allow you to hinder, harass, and debilitate the hunter. The Torment class specializes in debilitating effects. Your job is to harass and keep the hunter in check while your team tries to complete objectives. Try positioning yourself in the middle of the map and stay as close to the hunter as possible. Use your reveal bolts as much as possible. Being aware of the hunter's location at all times will greatly benefit your team and help you better prepare for your next move. Torment runners are also great at rescuing runners from the blood post. Combine your virus and blind bolts to slow the hunter's interaction time and to confuse them about your exact position. Once you've inflicted these debuffs, jump in for a quick rescue. The control class excels at manipulating the hunter's actions and capturing objectives. You can use your stun bolts or caltrops to curb an incoming hunter or to cover your escape. Since runners can't outrun the hunter in a foot race, use your degenerate bolt to reduce the hunter's damage to stay alive. The support class provides various benefits to the runner team. Although they have no hunter impeding bolts per se, Support runners can shield and heal their teammates from a safe distance. You should never engage the hunter head-on when playing as a support runner. Your skill set is better suited for healing and protecting allies, who are better equipped for such encounters. For example, you can cover a control runner during their escape by providing heals and shields from a safe distance. Powered bolts are AoE abilities, meaning you don't need to get a direct hit to affect the hunter. Use the environment to your advantage. All powered bolts, including the support runner's bolts, deal additional damage to hunter constructs. Take out mines and turrets from a safe distance. Just like the hunter, you do not need to get direct hits to damage his constructs. Any debuff that your team inflicts on the hunter appears in the top right corner of the screen. When a debuff wears off, the hunter is immune to that specific debuff for a short period of time. Avoid needlessly using your abilities and wasting NPI. Upgrading powered bolts to tier 3 unlocks their powerful secondary effect. For example, support runners can use their tier 3 healing bolts to rescue downed runners from a distance. A tier 3 degenerate bolt forces the hunter to reload their weapon. Caltrops are equivalent to Tier 1 powered bolts, but cost less NPI to use than their bolt counterparts. Caltrops remain on the ground for a short duration and are excellent for securing escape routes. They can also buy you precious seconds when capturing a point. As an individual runner, 
you don't possess the tools and means to beat the hunter. However, cooperation, synergy, and communication are key to your team's success and to achieving victory. Intellicoms is a built-in system that allows you to communicate with your team. It is a context-sensitive system that allows you to rapidly communicate vital information with your fellow runners when performing important actions or near certain game objects. You may also choose to opt into voice chat in the options menu to communicate with your team. Remember that you are a team of five versus one. The hunter cannot be in two places at the same time. Force the hunter's hand by simultaneously completing multiple objectives. Press the Intellicom key to let your team know that you're standing next to a specific crate, capturing the objective, or even if you're about to be executed. For a full list of Intellicom phrases, visit the Death Garden website. We encourage you to experiment with different classes and explore the list of perks so that you may create your perfect build. Thanks for watching and see you in the garden. Like and share if you enjoy the video and think others might benefit from this. And of course, subscribe and hit the notification button if you are new to the channel and want to be notified every time I post a video.